Okay, we're going to do a few uh, tests on this duct work to see what the static pressure is throughout different parts of the duct. And just kind of wanted to point this stuff out. On the left, you can see that's a return air right there. It's a return air drop coming from up there. And you can see that is your return air trunk line. You've got one run coming off of a return air coming into the front of that. Here you have your uh, air handler and uh, gas furnace. There's an air conditioning coil right there. And then we go up here and you've got your trunk line. Now there's two trunk lines in this. One goes just opposite of this one that you can see on the right. Uh, and the uh, plenum, which is right there, that uh, connects up there and the air moves both ways. So what we want to do is take a couple of spots and we'll start checking the static pressure inside these ducts when this thing's running. Okay, this is a tool that we're going to use. This manometer. We've got these probes that we use and we'll, uh, most of the time we'll probably only use one probe at a time. But uh, you can use them, two of them, one to uh, go on one side of a component and one to go on another. Okay, these uh, probes here if you look close at them, obviously that's the barb that you hook the hoses up to. And there's a couple of holes here in the side of this probe. Uh, this is supposed to be set up so that the airflow is going this way. Do it. On these low velocity ductwork systems, it doesn't make a lot of difference. Uh, sometimes you can just put the hose in there and it still reads about the same. But I do use these things, you know, for one thing they're convenient and so on. Uh, and if you had a little higher velocity, you would, uh, you'd probably want to use these. Okay, let's note I've got the probe and return air very close to the furnace. You can see the furnace right there. Uh, the only thing between the return air and the furnace is the air filter. Excuse me. I am showing a negative pressure of 0.32. Okay, that is the restriction of the return air duct. Because I'm showing that very close to the appliance. So any restriction that's in the return air is going to be read right there. So this is telling me I have some restriction in that return air. That's the restriction of the ductwork because this is, is the end that is coming close to the blower and the other end is the return air uh, grills in the structure. Okay. Okay, now you can see I've got, and I'll show you where all this stuff's hooked up later. I've got the same probe I had in there before into the return and I got this one down here and we'll show where it's going now if you look down at the bottom down there you can see that the probe is going in there okay that's the return air plenum you can see your, your uh, furnace is there the blower is right inside that door so I'm reading the negative pressure there, the negative pressure here, and you can see I'm reading about one-tenth of an inch, uh, inch water column. Okay, what does that mean? Because I am, I have this one probe right here which is in the return close to the filter, and the other one 
down there, which is on the other side of the filter, that's telling me the pressure drop across the filter. Now, a tenth, not too bad for a filter. It's an electronic air cleaner. It's reasonably clean. Uh, that's probably not too bad. A fairly high uh, return vacuum, but not too bad on the filter. So what we've done here is we have determined the drop across the filter with the two lines when I had the one line just in the return and I'll show you that again okay I pulled that one line off and we're running a little we're running about uh, 0.34 so it looks like uh, we've got more restriction in the return than we do across the filter Okay, in the next one, we're going to look at the positive pressures on the outlet side.